Hey, what to what to traders welcome back to my youtube channel so this is a very 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 valuable video guys and if you are going to apply this into your trading knowledge or into your trading skills you are definitely going to see change in your trading career guys so do stick till the end of this video guys right so without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so i recently took a trade guys but um it's also on my on my um on my uh, 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 uh public channel and do not forget guys that if you want my trading strategy you can just simply get it for free on my telegram group the link will be in this video's description guys right so now what happened here is something like this guys let me just put it like this so when you are trading retests right so i was trading a retest right so here we can clearly see guys that we have ourselves what a retest this was my first touch there second touch there and then price gave me a breakout when it was supposed to do it when it was supposed to give me a third touch and then move to the upper which is cool right so now price then came <laughs> this is this is this is going to blow my price then came guys right price then came and did what and gave me a bearish candlestick pattern where right here as you guys can see right if i can just remove that you can clearly see that price gave me a bearish candlestick pattern right so now when you are trading a retest guys when you are trading a retest there's one very very important thing that you have to note and trust me this is really going to change the way you trade your retest right so here you wouldn't have a problem entering here you wouldn't have a problem putting your your your, uh, uh, your cell there right hoping for price to move to the downward so now we already know that it does happen that you are going to be like okay price is retesting here price is retest is retesting there and then price comes to the downward and then it just keeps on hitting your stop loss as price moves to the to the upper and then all of a sudden it just drops right so it can happen that you do not know when when the right uh, you, you, you do not know um when the right time is when you are entering um your when you are entering your um your uh, uh, your retest right so besides the fact that you know like i always say guys that Persian bullish Persian bullish and graphing patterns are very accurate but now i want us to look at this okay this is what right so here this looks like a what this looks like a head and shoulders what pattern so now as price is forming the last shoulder right as price is forming the last shoulder it should also be on a retest i'm going to show you why guys i'm going to show you why why am i saying that why am i saying that okay so now i'm saying that because now you mustn't worry about your stop loss getting hit okay okay you mustn't worry about your stop loss getting hit so once price comes here and then shows you that okay sharp it is it is um it, it price is retesting and then gives you a bearish candlestick pattern you then enter okay and i'm going to i'm going to explain why why am i saying that i'm saying that because this is looking like a head and shoulders pattern and price is also retesting so if you are actually predicting that this is going to be a head and shoulders pattern so now that means now that price mustn't come where on your head so now you can enter where you can enter here and put your stop loss where and put your stop loss here in your head okay so now when price keeps on playing when price keeps on doing this right when price keeps keeps on doing this you won't be affected because your projection overall is that this is a head and uh, this is a head and shoulders and if this is a head and shoulders it means now that price must not come to my head okay price must not come to my head so i'm actually um i i i letting this out to you guys because 
once you know where to put your stop loss, bro, this is very important. So now, price can do anything here on this retest. But you just know that my stop loss is safe where here in my head. And then price can just continuously play. And then at the end of the day, price does what? Price completes your head and shoulders pattern. So that is why I'm saying to guys that, you know, when price is retesting, try and make sure that it is also completing a head and shoulders pattern so that you can be able to put your stop loss way on the head. And then you get yourself, even if you get yourself a bearish candlestick pattern, that is just a sign that, yes, the sellers, they are here. Whether price respects that bearish candlestick pattern or it doesn't respect that bearish candlestick pattern, you, you, you really do not care. As long as price respects this head and shoulders pattern, you are good to go. <laughs> okay? Okay, guys. All right. So, let's just proceed, guys. Let's just proceed. Let us just proceed. Let us just proceed. Because I'm not I'm not I'm not really sure if you guys are seeing this, okay? Let us also look at this. Let's also let's also look at this. Anna, look at this guys. Look at this, okay? So, here if you can just look at this. <laughs> if you can just look at this. So, here you can clearly see that price just did what? You can clearly see that price just, you know, uh, 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 th that price is looking like it just gave you a breakout from what? From that resistance right there, right? But now, any sign of a bullish candlestick pattern, you would just use that sign to do it. You would just use that sign to enter. So, you can clearly see here that we did have ourselves a, a, a what? A bullish candlestick pattern here, which was an engulfing candlestick pattern. I'm just making an example, right? So, now... Here, you aren't going to enter there and then put your stop loss here at the beginning of the engulfing candlestick pattern, right? But now, you are going to put your stop loss here, here, right? Why are you going to do that? You are going to do that because you believe now that this is a head and shoulders pattern, right? You do not care about price respecting your candlestick pattern. You care about price respecting your head and shoulders pattern, okay? So, here, price might do some funny stuff, you know, maybe do some things there, but, you know, it might at the end of the day just move to the upward, okay? So your stop loss is safe, okay? Remember, guys, that a head and shoulders pattern is this, okay? So in order for it to be a head and shoulders pattern, price mustn't come to your head, okay? It might even come there, but once price does that, then there is not a head and shoulders pattern, so you already know that your stop loss is basically safe. So when you are entering retest, why do you need price to give you a retest and to give you a candlestick pattern? You need price to give you a retest because the foundation of your entry will be based on a retest, not a head and shoulders pattern because you will, you will not be able to time that, yeah, there is my right shoulder. So let us just look at what then happened here. Okay? Let us just, just look at, at, at what is happening here. So you can clearly see what price is doing here now, right? But you are actually comfortable with that because your stop loss is where? Your stop loss is there. So now at the end of the day, price can do whatever it wants to do. You can clearly see now that it has just started to form a, a, a new shoulder, right? But at, at the end of the day, price is most likely to just simply do what? Move to the upper. But if you would have entered using a retest only and then you put your stop loss maybe somewhere there, I mean maybe somewhere here, you would now be stopped out. Okay? You'd now be what? You would now be stopped out. Okay. So, for instance, also here, guys, you can clearly see. Let me just do this. Let's just do this. So, also here, guys, you can clearly see that we did have ourselves a what? A retest right there. Okay? So, now, as you guys can see that as price is retesting the trend line, it is also completing a head and shoulders pattern. So, any bullish any bullish signal here, whether it is a breakout, whether it is it is a bullish candlestick pattern, you just enter, right? And then you put your stop loss way here. You do not care even if price comes 
comes below that pollution gap can, can stick pattern. But as long as price respects this head and shoulders pattern. Okay? So now when you approach retest, guys, make sure that you approach them in this matter. Bro, if you've been in trading for the longest, you're going to know that what I'm giving you here is pure gold. Okay? If you if 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 you've been in forex trading for the longest, you'll know that what I'm teaching out to you right now is pure gold, and I'm giving you for free. So imagine, imagine the strategy I'm using, bro. If I'm just going to be giving things like this for free, imagine how crazy the strategy I'm using is, <laughs> bro. I'd really love you to save this video because trust me, as long as you know that my stop loss is here, you do not care about price respecting a candlestick pattern. All you care about is price respecting your head and shoulders pattern. Okay? So if you know how to analyze and you, 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 you've been in this game, trust me, you are going to know that this is just pure gold. Okay? All right. So, let us just look at this. Well, just one more time, guys. Just one more time. Just one more time. Just one more time, guys. Just one more time. Just one more time. Okay. Uh, do we have anything here? Okay, beautiful. It looks like we do, we, we, we do have it. Okay, guys. So, in this case... Of these, you can clearly see first touch there, second touch there, price then gives us a breakout, right? And then in this case, guys, you can see that what we then had is we then had ourselves a retest. We're here. Let me just see. We then had ourselves a what? We then had ourselves a retest and then we had ourselves a candlestick pattern right there, right? And engulfing candlestick pattern right there right but now what is important is that as price is retesting your broken trend line right there it should also be completing a what a head and shoulders pattern so now when you enter here right your stop loss is where it is at your head and now price can now manipulate Price can now manipulate as it is retesting there. Price can now manipulate. Check this out. Check this out. Price moves straight downward. It comes back. In, right? Check this out. Check this out. It manipulates. Right? And then end up doing what? And then end up moving to the downward. Okay? Okay? But your stop loss wouldn't have been hit. At the end of the day, this was a head and shoulders pattern. All you care about is the pattern being respected. You do not care about whether price after my candlestick pattern is going to fall. No, you care about this, uh, this head and shoulders uh, 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 pattern being respected, bro. Your stop loss is here. Know where to put your stop loss, okay? Your stop loss is where it is here. <laughs> all right so let me not get any deeper so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on that like button for me see you on the next one goodbye cool,